everyone. Today I'm going to teach y'all how to make a simple levitation, and uh, it's, it's um, probably not the best, but um, y'all can be the opinion of that. Uh, please leave a comment in the box and just tell me what you think about it. All right, and uh, this is very simple. You can probably get this done in a few minutes, like we're going to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit File, New. I'm sorry, File, Import, File. And what you're going to want is you're going to want a video of um <coughs> of you of of your bed and you getting on your bed and like about like right there like you're flying. Now now what you want to do is you want to scroll up to where you find that at um where the uh where you want your flying pose to be. And what you're going to do is you're going to click right on it and you're going to click on um you're going to click on time freeze frame so that's like a solid picture <coughs> and now what you're going to do is you want to drag your um, your n the, the same video underneath it and you're going to want to hit the eye on the top one to show the second footage which is the same thing but instead of doing doing the pose you want to get right there where there's nobody there so hit time freeze frame right time freeze frame and let's go ahead and name these. Let's name this one um, person and uh, I'll just name this one room. All right, there. <coughs> so now what we got is we got a, a like a picture of a room and a picture of me. And um, <coughs> now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click on the person icon make sure you click on person if you click on room it'll mess the whole thing up you have to go back and redo it you know whatever so click on the person and go up here to the the pen tool and start tracing out your person try it as close as you can um that way you don't really leave that much background image color or whatever and uh just kind of trace it all around here and it, i haven't quite figured out how to how to make a back background color go away. I haven't figured out how to delete it. I was looking on Google and YouTube but I just could not find it. Um, if you know please leave a comment in the box and I'll be sure the first one who gives me the answer to it I'll be sure to subscribe to them and uh, let's see here and let's see if I can fix this problem right here And go up here, and let's see. Here. All right, and just keep on tracing it all the way around, and let's see. Here. All right, and let's see. Here. So now. We're gonna finish it off like that, and as you can see, the it got a little darker because I guess it was a different lighting at the time. And what it did was, is it traced out our person and put in the next uh, room frame. Uh, so now we got our person here. All right. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna click the arrow to make it go down, and click on mask, and uh, you're gonna want to click on. I do. I take that back. Don't click on mask. Do not click mask. Hit on tra hit transform and select all of the um, select all the stopwatches and go back up and hit F. Select the feather. Click M. Click the stopwatch and let's see here. So now what you can do is you can uh. Now, you can take your person. Uh, well, actually, first bring down the stopwatch, uh, the arrow again, and click this little diamond button right here to put a marker there. So it's like the beginning. So now, what you could do is you could just take your regular drag tool and drag yourself somewhere. Make sure you drag this up too, and uh, click click the diamond again. So now we're like moving from here to there, and we're just gonna drag up some more. 
you know, just wherever you want to. I suggest, you know, kind of keep them a little bit close together. Kind of makes it like a smooth uh, frame. The more farther you get apart, the more faster it's going to go. Um, so it's it's completely up to you, you know. Um, be creative with it, you know. Do do whatever. I mean, you are the creator of of what you want to build on here. So I mean, do whatever you want to on this. Let's see here. And <coughs> okay, and come right here. And just you know, do this all the way through your video. And I'll try to hurry up here, and that way you don't have to watch it all the way through. So let's see here. Just throw this together here. I'm not really concentrating that much on where I put it. I'm just trying to get us through this video here without y'all having to watch a big long thing. And uh, we're almost there. Just hang in there with me. Alright, so let's see here. In fact, I'll just go on way forward. It'll probably go fast, but it don't matter. I'm just, I'm just really just trying to get us through this tutorial here. This is very simple from here on. You just keep on moving it to wherever you want to. Uh, I'm gonna guess. I don't know, and this might not be true on here, but I'm gonna guess the more frame, the more icons you got, the more uh, smoother it's gonna be. I think it's smooth anyways, but um, cause I think uh, After Effects automatically smooths it out for you. So After Effects has a lot of cool features. I like it. Uh, let's see here. And there. And I'll just go ahead and skip to the end here, and I'll move it. And what I like to do is I like to just move it back to close to its original position. So and just hit it again. And sorry for the poor frame rate, but let's see here. This is kind of like a um, version of it here. And you won't see none of that stuff right there when the video when the actual video is playing. This is just um. This is just a the lines that you created, and it's just tracing it out all the way through the video. So yeah, so like that's all you do, and pretty much all the way through the video. You know, like I say, you do whatever you want with it. You could try to improve it. Um, this is just something I just kind of threw together in about less than 30 minutes, and I was just messing around with it, and you know, a hit to end it just hit add to render queue and just hit render and it should make the video I already got a video of mine so I already got it so I appreciate y'all watching this is a uh, game watcher 1996 I appreciate y'all watching and uh, please comment subscribe and rate